Hello guys, welcome to the video. My name is Crypt, and today I'm going to be announcing to you guys I lose you with 0.9.3.4. All right, this update fixes bugs and increases performance. So let's go over real quick. So over here, this I lose it right here. This is the application right here, as you can see, all right, has a lose it icon. And these other files right here are actually just configuration files, okay? So I will explain that to you guys in just a little bit. There's a read more document right here, which you guys can read, okay? It tells you when I lose it was updated. It tells you the version right now, okay? And it tells you what happened in this update. This update is a bug fix, basically. So everything that happened was just bug fixes, okay? Cool. Now let's open and lose it real quick. So I'm going to open it, right? Before you open and lose it, though, you want to make sure you run it as administrator. So you can either run it one time as administrator by right clicking on it, run as administrator, or you can run every single time as administrator by coming here to properties at the bottom, compatibility, run this program as administrator. You want to make sure that's checked, apply and OK. Cool. Now I'm going to click on a loser and I'm going to open it. I'm going to click yes to give it permission. And this is Illusity. Welcome to Illusity. All right. So as you guys can see right now, <clears throat> okay, this application looks a little complex already. And I'm going to go through real quick just to explain to you guys the basic things. It's not that complex once you understand it. So first of all, right now we're in the recoil tab. Over here in the top left, it says recoil tab, right? Over here. And you guys can see that right here, recoil tab, right? You have different tabs. You have recoil, you have profile tab, you have extra tab, settings tab, and about tab. For now, we're going to talk about the recoil tab first. So on the recoil tab right now, I have something called profile. And the profile that's on right now is a default profile. Default meaning that's the first one that's loaded, that's the main one, that's primary one, basically, right? So what does this mean? Basically, for each game you play, you want to have a profile for, right? And you can have more than one profile for a game, but you want to have at least one profile per game. This way you can save information. So every single profile has um, information about that game. So what do I mean by that? Let me show you guys real quick. So right now I'm going to open my PUBG profile. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to open with notepad. And this is my PUBG profile. So as you can see in my PUBG profile, I have a bunch of information. You guys don't need to worry about this. But basically, you guys can see that I have AKM over here, right? I have M416, SCAR, UMP, and MP5. So what does that mean? That means that in the PUBG profile, right, I have those guns saved. And what does that mean? That means I can actually access those guns right now. So let me go to the profile tab. Let me come over here and let me select the PUBG. And now that's selected, right? I can go back here to recoil. And now as you can see, my gun over here, I have the AKM, the M416, the SCAR, the UMP, and I can scroll down. I have the Bison, the Barrel, the M16A4. Okay, you can have unlimited guns. And over here on the select mode, I have basic, right? So basically what the, what the mode is supposed to be, the mode is supposed to be like a scope, right? So every gun can have a scope basically, or can have a difference, right? So for example, in Battle Royale games, usually you can equip your guns with attachments. So let's say you have an AKM, right, basic, which means no attachments. And then you want to create a mode that um, means that the AKM is going to have attachments. So I'm going to show you guys right now how to create a mode. So right now I have the AKM and I have mode basic with no more modes available. So I'm going to create a mode for the AKM. So I'm going to come over here to profile. I'm going to select the profile I want to modify, PUBG. I want to click over here on the settings button. I want to click over here on the gun. I want to select the gun I want to modify. And over here modes, I want to type in the mode that I want to add. I'm going to add um, fully attached. Attached. Okay. And I'm going to click add. And now if I go back to the recoil page, over here you can see that fully attached is now a prof is now a mode. Which means that now let's say I have the AKM with no attachments, right? I can switch. I can add some attachments to the AKM and now I have fully attached. The reason why you might want to do that is because usually in games, as you attach equipments to your gun, your recoil decreases, right? So usually in games, as you attach equipment, your D recoil is going to decrease, okay? So an AKM with no, equi with no equipments have higher recoil than an AKM with equipments, okay? All right, cool. So, um, all right. So now let's go over real quick how to actually do the pull down. So I lose it, right? It's a pull down application. Right? It's basically a recoil application that what it does that is, is external and it's going to pull your mouse down. Okay, That's basically what it's going to do. But 
it's gonna pull your mouse down based on what it's gonna pull your mouse down based on the vertical values right here okay so basically every single time you are shooting with a lucidity on right and recoil on what happens is as you are shooting your recoil goes down your mouse goes down just like so just like that you guys can see how it's going down all right so just like that right now i'm shooting and it's going down that's not me bringing it down i cannot bring it down that perfectly okay and now as you can see over here if you guys pay attention to this akm basic and seven you guys can see that as i am pressing the shooting button right this value increases so and you guys can see that increases directly um increases based on this recoil table over here so the first values is six and six then it goes to seven then it goes to seven again then eight and eight right i'm gonna decrease the value so you guys can actually see it so i'm gonna put one one two two and three i'm gonna save and look at it and three you guys can see how strong it gets and then it goes back to the beginning so it's one one two two and three one one two two and three okay and that means how strong it's gonna pull down basically all right so one if i just leave it on one and click save that's like that okay that's the kind of pull down if i leave it at two click save a little stronger three and click save it's stronger than that four okay you guys get the point if i put a uh, 16 oop, let me click save look that's much stronger now okay there you go make sure you click save every single time you make a change all right but in games, usually you you in games usually the recoil is not the same. So like if I have only four as my recoil, it might not be exactly the same recoil as AKM. It's gonna help me out a little bit, but it might not be exactly the same recoil. So what you wanna do is you wanna make a recoil table. So then let's say the AKM has a good recoil for four, but it gets stronger. The AKM has too much recoil and your mouse starts going up a little bit, right? Your aim starts going up. Then you want to increase this value so you want to put a five here afterwards then a six then a six then a seven right and then it just keeps on increasing just like an actual gun would right cool all right so that's how that basically works um you can also switch so every gun can have different values so the akm has those values that i just saved it has four five six six and seven the m416 has five six six seven eight the scar has six six seven eight nine and the UMP has one, two, two, three. Okay, you can change those values and it's gonna save for each one of those guns. So each gun can have specific modes. Each gun can also have specific vertical values, horizontal value, and keybind. Okay, cool. So now let's go over real quick horizontal recoil. So over here I have horizontal recoil right here, right? Which basically means that, let me just go back to the, um, uh, mm, let me see. I'll do this one, I'll do the UMP. So let's use the UMP. Right now I have horizontal recoil. And basically what horizontal recoil does is that it's gonna be uh, also moving your mouse left and right. So as you can see right now, my mouse is moving left and right, okay? You guys can see right there, right? So for me to increase that, right, I can come over here and I can increase to like for six, for example, click save, and our recoil is gonna move left and right much faster, right? There you go. I can pull like nine, which is the maximum value you can pull, by the way. And there you go. It's much, much stronger pulling. All right? It goes left and then goes right. It goes left and then goes right. Random. Okay? Cool. So that's how random, that's how horizontal value works. The horizontal value is only going to work if you have horizontal recoil over here checked. Okay? The same way that your recoil is only going to pull down if you have recoil checked. Right now, if I press my left click and right click, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's happening. But if I turn this on and then press left and right click, all right, it's working. All right. Cool. There's also a sound which I'm gonna allow you guys to hear now. Every single time you turn on and off, I lose it. Like the recoil is a sound. That's off. That's on. Off. On. All right. So now you know that I lose it is on because you actually can enable recoil with your keybind. So you can press a keybind over here on profile values. You can press the L, for example. Which is the profile, which is the keybind that I set, right? L. And if I press that, let me just make it capital so you guys can see. If I press that, right, it's gonna turn on and off my recoil. See? So now it's off, and I can press that. Now it's on, and I can shoot, right? Really cool. Okay. Uh, so that's how that works. There's also something called rapid fire, and I'm gonna show you guys rapid fire right now. I'm gonna open a web page over here, show you guys rapid fire. 
Something else that you guys are gonna know real quick just before I begin showing you guys rapid fire is that I lose it is always gonna stay on top So no matter what application you have I lose it will stay on top of every single application Okay now for I lose it to stay on top of your game. Okay, you need to make sure that your game is set to um, Borderless mode it cannot be in full screen mode. So your game cannot be in full screen if your game is in full screen I lose it will not be on top Cool um, all right, so now I'm gonna show you guys rapid fire. So I'm gonna turn on rapid fire. I'm also gonna turn on recoil. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys how rapid fire works. Okay, so rapid fire basically does that it allows you to shoot your gun as if it's in automatic. So let's say you have a single fire gun, right? A gun that shoots like doo, 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 like that, right? <laughs> so if you enable rapid fire, your mouse, your the application is gonna click very very fast, basically. All right, so let me show you guys how that looks like right now. So right now I have the rapid fire value of 0 0.08 and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now. And I'm going to decrease the vertical value so that the mouse doesn't fall down too much. All right. So right now I'm just pulling a mouse up so it stays in the box. And I'm going to show you guys how many clicks I'm going to do in 10 seconds. There you go. So let's see. So I did 10. Exactly. So 0 0.08 of rapid fire is 10 clicks per second. If you want to increase, which by the way, you should not, usually this, this is a good amount okay, of clicks per second. But if you can, you can increase it too. Let's say I want to have a 0 0.04 and that will make your clicks per second go much faster. So look at that. You guys can already see a big difference right here, right? I believe this is going to be like 16 clicks per second, 17 clicks per second. This is 18 clicks per second. Okay, so 0 0.04 is 18 clicks per second. If you want to go even faster, you can do 0 0.01, and that's extremely fast. Yeah, you guys can just see right there on my score. Okay, each click is a score, by the way. So how fast that is. I'm pulling my mouse up. Oop. Okay, there you go. And that is 35 clicks per second. You're definitely going to get banned from any game if you do that. That's impossible for, for a human. So what you want to be is you want to be around 0 0.08 or 0 0.09. 0 0.09 is usually where I play. I like to stay a little safer. So I do 0 0.09 0 0.09. Let me show you guys what that is. 0 0.09 I believe is around 8.7 clicks per second. Let's try that out. Yeah, so it's 9 clicks per second. So that's actually pretty good. So you want to stay at around 0 0.09, okay? Which is like 9 clicks per second. You, if you want to purchase iLosity after you have seen this video, all you need to do is come over to my website right here. Okay. You're going to come over to the store. Okay. And you're going to purchase it right here. All right. So you're going to click on it. I lose you 0.93.4. You're going to click on it. And you're going to click on buy now. Okay. You can check over here the features of it and the new things. Okay. There's videos, tutorial video right here. No refunds, tutorial video right here. And specifications. You need a Windows computer. You can click on buy now. After you click on buy now, you're going to come over to this page and here you can purchase. If you use the promo code that's right on the top left of your screen right now, you're going to get a 50% off. So if you use the promo code right now, you're going to get a 50% off, all right? That promo code only has three uses. So good luck. After you have purchased Illusity, you come over to your page that says thank you and your link will be right there. But if you don't find your link there, you can come over to your profile. You can go to my orders, okay? And... Hold on, let, let it load. And then over here, you guys can actually click to see more details, right? So you guys can actually see more details right here. You can click right here. You're going to be able to download Illusory. Okay? When you purchase Illusory with 0.9.3, right? You only have that version, right? So for example, anything involving Illusory with 0.9.3. So Illusory with 0.9.3x, you have access to. So you had access to Illusory with 0.9.31, which added a few things. I lose the 0.9.32, which fix a few bugs. I lose the 0.9.3.3, which fix more bugs. And this version right now, I lose the 0.9.3.4, which fix more bugs. Okay. Now, when I lose the 0.9.4 comes along, right? You will need to buy it again. So a way for you to actually bypass that, a way for you to not have to buy it again, is you can become a VIP member. So over here, you can click on subscription, right? And over here, for you to become a VIP member. All you need to do is you pay $5 every month. And with $5 every month, you get updates. You get every single update. You get every single Illusory update of that month. So let's say I release Illusory with 0 0.9.4. Now you don't need to do anything. Because you, you're a VIP. You have access to it already. Okay? And after you become VIP, you, can, you have access to your VIP page. Which is right here in the middle. 
right? It says, thank you for becoming VIP, and you can see the projects right here. So VIPs can already download at Luzi 0.9.3.4, right here, right? And they can also download at Luzi 0.9.2, which people still like, all right? So thank you guys for watching this video, and have a nice time.